So welcome back. I know you made it through the boot camp. You got your squiggly one, two, three, four, five frames to animate. And you're probably thinking, but Carl, I'm taking this course because I want to do more professional stuff. And you know what? You will. And what I want to do now is take you over to my animated ads Twitter feed and show you just how major brands are using the same stop motion keyframe technique in their advertising. Let's go. Here's my animated ads Twitter page. I put it together really quickly so that I could retweet animated ads and I didn't want to really spam my Snorkel TV followers with a bunch of advertisements, so I decided to create a separate account. Now what I'm doing is just going throughout my various Twitter feeds and when I see a cool ad, I'll just retweet it from this account. So here Target has some nice animation in their Twitter feed and this is the type of stuff I'm gonna be showing you how to build. Here we have a masked stop motion effect. This White Castle ad here, you'll be able to build this with your eyes closed after taking this course. And I'm just gonna scroll on quickly down because I wanna show you the ad that inspired this next exercise. Well, first off, this Starbucks one is really cool. And really what's going on here, it's just a series of photos where they're adding one element to the scene, taking a picture, adding another, taking a picture, and then they import all those photos into keyframes in a program like Animate. So here's the setup that I initially did for one of my tests for what we're about to build. I have a bag of chips from Taco Bell, some cheese, and my camera on the uh, Joby Gorillapod. And scrolling on down, what do we have here? Applebee's. An ad like this, all keyframe. There's no smooth animation. It's just these hard cuts between some text, a heart, and then a picture of some steak. I'll tell you what, we'll probably build that one as well. But what I'm really going after and what really inspired me was this ad right about here. Where are you from? Taco Bell. Yo quiero Taco Bell. So there it is. We have these nacho fries, which surprisingly are in very high demand. And you'll see there's an animation of the fries going away. And as they go away, the cheese disappears. And what caught my attention about this thing here was that as the cheese goes away, you don't see a bunch of cheese smeared around the edge or anything. It's all really nice and neat. So the trick I used was to actually start with no chips and then at, and no cheese. And I took pictures adding chips and adding cheese. And I'm sure that's how they did it as well. All right, so here's my rendition of the disappearing nacho fries. I couldn't get nacho fries because you know what? They've been discontinued. They're making us wait till summer. So I used some nacho chips and some nacho cheese. So let's jump on over to Animate and I'll show you how to build this animation. All right, so in Animate CC, I'm going to create a new HTML5 canvas document. I'm gonna change the stage to be 800 by 800. Hit return. And then I'm gonna to go to the magnification menu and do fit in window and that's just going to shrink it down so that I can see the entire stage and then I'm going to go to file import and I'm going to go to import to stage now you'll see that I have these photos here that came off of my camera I'm going to select the first one and on a Mac if I hit spacebar I can get a preview of them and I'm hitting the up arrow now so that you can see that I have this progression of images that has uh, more chips and cheese being added so it's a nice little feature of the Mac there. What I'm gonna do is just pick the first image in the sequence, which is 7611. And when I hit open, Animate is very smart and it says, this file appears to be part of a sequence of images. Do you want to import all of the images in the sequence? And I'm gonna hit yes. And then a few things are going to happen. You'll see that Animate CC puts each image in its own keyframe already for me. And if I go to the library, you'll see that all of those images are now part of my library. So I just wanted to show you that behind the scenes, everything that we imported goes into the library. And now we also have each image on the stage in its own keyframe. Now with this animation here, the idea was to show somebody sort of starting out with a whole bag of chips and cheese, and then over time having them disappear. Now, I took these photos in reverse order so that I could slowly add cheese to the little bin over here, okay, and so that it wouldn't be messy. So if I had started with full cheese and then taken it out, it would have been smeared all over the sides. So I just built the sequence up backwards. Now for the purpose of this animation, I want things flipped around. So instead of having starting with an empty bag and empty cheese bin and then filling up, I want to start with the empty the full cheese and chips and then have them disappear. Uh, 
So what I'm going to do is click and drag to select all of these frames. And then I'm going to right click and do reverse frames right down here. And so now those frames just get swapped around. So I'm starting with full chips and cheese. And over time in each keyframe, I have a new image with less chips and cheese. So when I play that now, it goes really quite fast. Now I want to slow this down a little bit. So one thing I could do is I could go to the properties panel and my frames per second is set to 30. I could bring this down to something like five. And then now the next time I play, watch, it's definitely slower, okay? It's only showing me five frames per second. Now, if this was all this file was ever gonna have, that would be okay. But if I wanna add some other animation that's happening at the same time, that's a little bit smoother and not so choppy, um, I wouldn't be happy with a frame rate of five frames per second. So although I could do that, I'm gonna keep that frame rate solid at 30 right now. And I'm gonna go back to the technique I already showed you. And that's we're going to add time in between each keyframe. And to do that, what's the keyboard shortcut? How do we add frames? What's that piece of paper stuck to your head say? It should say press F5. One, two, three, four, five frames I'm gonna add by pressing F5. I'm gonna go select the next frame. One, two, three, four, five. Select the next keyframe. One, two, three, four, five. The next one, one, two, three, four, five. And do that for all of those, four, five. And when I get to the last frame, I also wanna have a little bit of dead time at the end. Now I can drag back to the beginning, and when I hit enter, you'll see that I have a nice speed here, and we have this effect of all the chips and cheese disappearing. It looks quite good. Next, I'll create a very simple follow along video so that you can build this for yourself, and then we'll walk you through exporting it as a video that you can share with your friends. I think it's time to eat some nachos. Later.